Hello, this is Broccoli Builds, and today I am building a flower pot house. I made sure to make this a super easy to follow step by step, so let me know if you build it. Let's dig in. I've got a pretty general color palette here. Wait, what are you, what are you turning to look at? No, 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 don't look at that. That's, that's not what we're building today. I mean, that is what we're building, but come on, come on, look over here. All right, thank you. As I was saying, we've got a pretty general color palette for the outside right here. The first row is for the orchid on top. We've got lime wool, lime concrete, and lime terracotta, and we got light blue wool and light blue concrete. These are the details. We've got an oak door and oak leaves. For the roof, we've got brown glass, an oak trap door, a spruce trap door, and spruce stairs. And then for the pot itself, we have orange glass, acacia stripped wood, um, orange terracotta, and brown concrete. And then I'm starting off with a nine by nine square, and the base of it will be a seven by seven. I'm gonna start off with doing kind of this like shading a bit. This really won't be seen unless you like are really paying attention to details. So it doesn't completely matter if it's the blocks that you use if you're really low on blocks. But I just like to have a little bit of extra detail in my builds. I started with this nice brown concrete and then I'm gonna fill in the rest of it with the orange terracotta. will be the floor of our build so if you wanted to do like wood or something you could do that but I'm just gonna stick with orange terracotta because I'm gonna add more details in later on like oak wood floor for interest I guess now starting with the walls it's gonna be eight tall That's just, I'm just gonna put this um, glass pillar here just for reference. So the first layer here is one piece of glass, three pieces of orange terracotta, and then three pieces of brown concrete. And then I'm gonna repeat this design on all three other sides just so it's fairly simple. You could do it a little bit differently if you wanted. Second layer is one piece of glass, two pieces of acacia wood, one terracotta, one acacia wood, one terracotta, and then one concrete. The third is one glass, three acacia wood, two terracotta, and one concrete. The next one is two pieces of glass, and then an acacia wood, two terracotta, and two concrete. The next one is again two glass, one terracotta, two acacia wood, one terracotta, and then one brown concrete. This one is two glass, two acacia wood, one terracotta, one acacia wood, one concrete. Then this one is one glass, one terracotta, two acacia wood, one terracotta, one concrete, and then one terracotta. Then the last layer is three glass, two acacia wood, and two terracotta. That was kind of a mouthful. <laughs> Now onto the roof, like I said before, we're using brown glass, oak wood trapdoors, and spruce trapdoors. Now the way that I do it, did it was very slow. I would suggest going down one from the edge, just placing an entire thing of glass or just any other block, and then putting the trapdoors on top, and then breaking the glass underneath the trapdoors later. The way that I did it works as well, but it's also just a little bit slower. And it was tricky. 
but yeah technically the trap doors are on the top block but so they're like a little bit so they're like technically resting on the second layer i know that's a little bit confusing i think you can kind of see it here Of course, you can do this differently if you don't have enough wood and survival or something for all these trap doors. It could all be glass. It could, you could use actual dirt. I just wanted it to be this way so then you had a little bit more headspace in the second uh, floor of this house. And of course, glass for light because natural light makes everything look so good. Now that we're done with the roof, in the middle of the um, roof, we're going to put an orchid. I'm going to do an orchid because it's my favorite flower, but of course you can do uh, anything else. I only have a tutorial for the orchid though. Click smack in a door. And like I said earlier, for the orchid, we are using lime wool, lime concrete, lime terracotta, and then light blue wool and light blue concrete for like the flower bit. This flower is a bit tricky, so if you need to slow this down or pause it at any time, feel free to do so. I'm going to start off with three wool and then two terracotta, and then kind of do this weird little pattern with the lime concrete. Another wool, terracotta, and concrete wool, concrete. Then I start on the actual flower. We're gonna have four of these flowers on this plant, so. If this is a little bit too confusing, don't worry. I like really just kind of smacked blocks around until I liked what I saw. It can definitely be a little bit more um, organic or abstract if you want. I mean, no one's gonna be able to tell. <laughs> Especially if you just place like a different colored block where it's not supposed to be. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Here's done with the second flower. Now on to the third flower, which is going to be kind of pointing towards the front and off to the right. There's the third flower. And now I'm going to do one that's kind of in the middle and shooting back. And now we're done with the orchid. Uh-huh. It's looking really nice. That's basically it for the outside. It's optional, but I love just adding leaves everywhere, as you know, because I just adore leaves. So I'm going to get rid of this little template thing here because we don't really need it anymore. And I also got rid of the color palette because we're done with the outside except for leaves. And then I'm just going to add leaves, just kind of one cluster on each side is about what I did. These really don't have to be exact either, I just kind of randomly shook my head around and placed leaves into clumps that I like. Nice! Now we're going to go on to the interior. For this build, I kind of wanted it to be a little bit more um, survival. Like, you could build this in survival as like a starter base, even though these blocks are kind of hard to come by. I did these kind of, um, I did these spruce slab and fence um, stairs, and then I added spruce slabs, but it's like on the second half of the block. So technically they're like not full blocks. It's mainly just because I wanted, I really wanted that um, headspace for the second floor. Since this is a very kind of cramped build. For the bed platform, I decided to add trap doors. So they're, as you can see if you look really closely, it's like on the top of that same block. 
and it's just um a four by two oh, four by three platform and then i add this little stair thing and ladder to get up to the top and since we have so many trapdoors on the top we don't need to add one to be able to do it i add these trapdoors right by the stairs just as like a little stair railing and then you can just watch me absolutely fail to make this little closet it took me so many tries to get these trap doors on right, and then I realized you can literally just like place the four blocks where your armor strands are gonna go, and it would make the trapdoor thing so much easier. Like, just look at me fail. Just look at me fail. I fall. I place it wrong like five times. Oh wow, look at that. There's me being actually smart. See, just like that, and then just place the trap doors. And I add one on the top since there's a piece of glass right there, and my two armor stands. Now for the bed area, I start with two barrels on either side, add the two beds, and then I add um, a stair facing that way on both sides and two slabs on the top. And then I add a little bit more storage. You can definitely add more storage if you need it. I was just like, oh, I'll just pop in some more barrels and a little shelf. And then for this area, I kind of wanted like a little chandelier to hang down. So I started with some spruce fences and then smacked a lantern on the end of each one. This most front one goes down three and then a lantern. And then the ones off to the side, both are two and then a lantern, but I placed one on the trap door and one on the glass. And then of course, a little house plant on the inside because why not? This also doesn't have to be exact, just kind of place the leaves wherever you want them. And that's pretty much the upstairs. Since it's like a half a block down, I can't place carpet on here, but I still think it looks good. Add a couple of flower pots and lanterns just for a little bit more light and decoration. And of course, put some stuff on the armor stands. If this were a real survival world, I could put like my diamond armor set or something on there, but I just wanted it to look pretty. Now over here in this corner, I wanted to do an actual functioning like um, enchanting table. You need 15 bookshelves, so I kind of fill around with them a little bit. I also wanted to have like a grindstone next to it and um, a barrel for like uh, lapis. There we go. And a um, a barrel for lapis, so I kind of destroy them and place them. Add the grindstone and then a little trapdoor on top. And then I add a barrel on the side with the trapdoor on top as well. And of course, I hung some lanterns on the fence posts by the stairs for just a little bit more light. And I fiddle around with them a little bit more. And then for this kitchen thing, it took me quite a while to get the countertops how I liked them. So here's just a really quick little speed build of the process of me figuring it out. <laughs> like it, I said, it took me a couple tries to get them exactly the way I wanted. I settled with this design. And then I moved on to just this little storage area. Cause I know storage is very important. You could also add like a downstairs, like by destroying one of these barrels and like placing the ladder down to an underground if you needed more space. I just thought, eh, I'm sure this will be fine. And I add a little carpet. If you need more light, you can also add like glowstone or shrooms underneath the carpet blocks. And then I added a couple more lanterns. And a bunch of flower pots. And there we go. I really just bone mealed around and added a couple coarse 
dirt blocks and fence posts or spruce fence posts in the ground. Then I added a bunch of little oak leaf pieces, a little bit of landscaping. And that's pretty much the tutorial. Let's have a quick look back inside. Amazing. And a little peek upstairs. Very nice. I'm super happy with this build, and if you liked it, make sure to subscribe and check me out on TikTok at Broccoli Builds. And thank you so much for watching. Hey, hey you, yeah, you. I bet you're bored. How about you watch this one? It's a really pink cafe. It's cool. All right. Bye now.